Doctor, I'll tell you some symptoms and you tell me should we go for surgery or no. Large fibroids. Absolutely yes, you need a surgery for that. Especially if fertility is concerned or if you have abnormal uterine bleeding. Small intramural fibroids not disturbing the cavity. Um, they are fine unless they have more than 4 or 5 centimeters. Endometriosis with severe pain and ovarian endometrioma. Oh, you definitely need a surgery. Small endometrioma, less than 3 cm. Not really, we just wait and watch. We go for surgery if the endometrioma is making the oocyte retrieval very difficult. Hydrosalpinx seen on HSG scan. If you are going for an IVF and if we see hydrosalpinx, yes, you, you have to remove the hydrosalpinx or go pretty bad me. Block tubes but no hydrosalpinx. No, we don't have to remove your tubes. Uterine spectrum detected on HSG or 3D USG. Yes, you need a septal resection if fertility is a concern. Small ovarian clear cyst less than 4 cm. Not really, you don't require a surgery unless the cyst is very active and is secreting estradiol. Endometrial polyp found before TTC. You definitely need a surgery. Please get the endometrial polyp removed. Ovarian drilling for PCOS. Yes, I would um, do ovarian drilling if the ovaries are very large, if there is very high testosterone or androgens in the body and if the ovulation induction with the usual inducing agents like letrozole, clomiphene citrate and gonadotropins is failed. 